In today's video, I take you on an ingrown toenail transformation journey, combining her first and second pedicure visit. Are you wondering what that is? I'll let you know in just a minute, so stay tuned. Did you know that there are actually four stages of an ingrown toenail? Stage one is just the inflammation where it starts to bother you. Stage two is where you can actually get an abscess or infection. Stage three is you can grow granulation tissue and you can get nail fold hypertrophy, which is where the cells will actually increase in size. And stage four, if left too long, you can actually get deformity of that nail fold or nail groove. All right, let's start with this one. The easy foot? Yes, let's start with the easy <laughs> foot. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random what a comment pretty game. Tattoo. Thank you. All right, straighten out all the way. Can you believe how cold it is today? I didn't expect oh it. Oh my I didn't gosh! The snow. I woke up and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe there's snow. Yes. And windy. I'm like, I'm staying up here until it's time to go to work. My son leaves around 7 too. And then as soon as he leaves, I got to get my daughter up so she can get ready. And as soon as I woke her up, I'm like, you need to look outside. She's like, there's... So... When you went on YouTube and found my channel, you were specifically looking for something to help your toe situation? I was trying. I didn't want to go back to the doctor and then tell me I have to lose my toenail again. And I told my husband, I'm like, why can't I find somewhere in like Florida or California or somewhere like... And then I'm like, oh my goodness, she's 30 minutes away. Why am I not going to see her? So how are all of your Christmas preparations coming? Good, I think I'm about ready. That's good. It's been a struggle this year. <laughs> Trying to find time. Yeah, I've done a lot of online ordering. My son's 13 and he beats me. Here I'm using the meticulous manicurist toenail nippers to trim the toenails. If you're wondering why I don't use toenail clippers, I do have a video for that. So you can look in my video list or search for why I don't use nail clippers. Yeah, you want to surprise them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Although I tried following your link on your page and it was trying to take me somewhere else. Um, on which one? On which page? Not on the salon page, but on your Facebook page. It was probably taking you to the salon's page. Mm -mm. No? It was taking me to a different address. It's like half a mile from here. What? Yeah, it was going to have me turn right on to Harris. Well... Oh, I know I turned left when I came like that. You mean on on Google? Yeah. Well, I'll have to look at that. That's weird. And where did you come from, Taylor? Flat Rock. Flat Rock. Well, that's great. Sometimes 40 minutes is the car is just the perfect amount of time to decompress from your <laughs> day. <laughs> <clears throat>
How old is he? Oh gosh. Well, that's sweet that he wants to get her something. Oh yeah, this is gonna feel good. Really? Because mm -hmm. in February last year, or this year, they took my nail off on my big toe. And then it started to go back normal, and then it started to turn again, and then it started to grow again, and then it was a disaster. No. Big toes for <clears throat> six months. That's that is fast because a lot of times it takes ten to twelve months for a big toenail to replace itself. Yeah, by summer, I had almost the full nail. It was a little short, but it was. I mean, definitely a full. Still nail. covering your nail yeah. bed. Yeah, that's good. So how many days went by until you started to notice a difference in your big toe? You know, I guess I didn't pay that close of attention the first couple of days because I didn't expect a huge change really right. fast. But I did notice that like the bulge wasn't getting like crusty anymore. Okay. And it started to turn more like flesh colored instead of scab colored. And okay. I mean, to me it looked like a scab. But after, I, I'd say probably like three or four days, I noticed it was already like, you could see new growth already coming in. And you were like, hmm, what's going on here? Well, for being a week, yeah, you can already see it. Gosh, you're probably almost at a quarter of an inch. Or at least an eighth of an inch. New growth. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I'm glad we took those pictures when you first stopped in so we can compare it. Yeah, I think that there's a huge difference in the color of my hair. <clears throat> Did you ask Santa for anything this year? I did. What I did do a lot of vinyl work and stuff. I make a lot of t-shirts. Oh, neat. Yeah, so I wanted another cutter machine so that I had the ability to do a little bit more. Oh, wow. Is that what you do for a living? No, just okay. hobby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I do that for a fun hobby. Right. I think people in this industry are very creative in other ways all the way around. My sister owns a barber shop, so I work there part time. Oh nice! Is she a barber? 
Mental right. Health. Okay. How long have you been doing hair? I started doing hair in about 2008. Um, I worked there for a few years. So is that why you only do it part time now? Um, Are you still a GM? I'm not. No, no I lost. Can't like was it for me? No. swearing probably. It's <laughs> dirty, dusty, dirty. Yeah. You know, I really get allergies with it. Okay. I'll put that photo back in the water. Like I'm gonna put my eyeball out with those. Yeah. So she cut them all off and put another tip on top of them. And uh, yeah, so I have two layers of tips underneath these. Ready to... I need to give you some information before we get to the other foot where she is having the ingrown toenail problem. Clients are often looking for an alternative to having their nail removed. I took a before photo during a consultation one week prior to this appointment where I recommended she use the nail mycosis solution to reduce the inflammation and had hopes it would make the buildup growing on top of the granulation tissue fall off and it did because I needed that area to be clear so I could see very good. This is what the toe looked like just one week prior. You can see how much more red the area is than it is today. Mm-hmm. That's from a week. Yeah, I can. As you can tell, she's pretty excited about the growth and that the change that the nail made in just one week of using the nail mycosis solution. The ingrown toenail started because she had a nail fungus and she's on her feet a lot and that toenail just squeezes down into the skin. My goal today is to remove the lifted part of the nail so it will reattach better as it grows and to give her relief of that nail pressing down into the outside nail groove on her foot so it can heal and recover. People aren't always concerned about aesthetics of their toenails. People don't only wear their toenails for fashion. They also need them for function, and that's what we're concerned about today. Are you I still have to put my house together a little bit. And then we had our entire downstairs painted like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, so I had to move all of the furniture and then I didn't want to put everything back exactly where it was. I'm like rearranging a few things and buying a few new decorations and stuff. But it's almost done. Do you host? We aren't having anybody from out of town this year, so it'll be nice and quiet. We have a bunch of work stuff we have to catch up on. Now, how how sore is this? It's pretty tender. That corner in there is loose. When I went to go cut it across, like you had mentioned to me, I couldn't dig that out. I didn't want to make it worse or like you. Right. It, so I figured right. I would like yep. take care. So this little piece of nail, I'm gonna, that's the culprit right there. Because it, um, when you trimmed your nail across, probably at one point, it didn't go all the way to the edge and it left a little spiky, pokey piece and it probably 
stabbed into your skin. And that needs to come out. So I'm gonna have to insert the nippers right here. And the pressure, because it's gotta go underneath the nail a little bit, and I have to push over to the side just about an eighth of an inch, and then I'm gonna squeeze so it might be sore for just a second. Okay. I learned something about myself today that I use giggling as a coping mechanism. You'll see in a sec. Yeah, all right. <laughs> And then we're going to peel it out. You okay? There we go. So now you can see the little hole. So I had some lint in it. So that was probably causing one of the irritants of the body to create that area around it, the skin. It was trying to protect yeah. it. But at least that's not going to be poking down into your skin anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll stop throbbing in a second. <laughs> People will often ask when I'm working on people, does that hurt? And usually it's like, nope, it doesn't hurt. I'm being very gentle. Except when somebody comes in with a really sore toe, because even though I'm still gentle, when you insert the tools, it creates space, you know? It creates more pressure. So sometimes it can be a little ouchy. I definitely don't think that it's funny that our toe hurts, but it does cause like a nervous laughter because I don't like that she's in pain. So when I'm cleaning around that, I'll be really gentle. I have to make sure that there isn't any more like fuzz or foreign material down in, in and around that. But as you're using that nail mycosis product, it has natural antimicrobial agents in it. So it will help keep it clean. And it should heal it up. And as the nail grows, keep the skin moisturized. No, sorry. <laughs> Well, here's what I was just thinking. Typically, because your the nail fungus goes down to about right here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna trim because this side doesn't hurt, right? No, no, no. So this stuff gets caught underneath nails that are lifted. and it will have the best chance of recovering if I cut more of this nail away over here. But I don't want to go over into this area because I want this area to heal a little bit and to grow up. So I don't want this skin, it'll like, when there's nothing pressing it down, it will lift up and then your nail will push back into it when it starts to grow. So we're gonna leave that there. But I am gonna trim off a little bit more of this. And then I want you to come back in four weeks to care for this side.
after more of that nail is removed, I can also get a better angle to be able to remove more of the buildup that's underneath that side of the nail plate and get down deeper into the sidewall to remove some of that debris. This is the granulation tissue the body produced to protect the area when the infection was bad. I do think she's going to have to see a podiatrist to have the skin removed because I think the nail is going to have a hard time cutting through it and when you see the second visit coming up you will hear me explain this to her. How many kids do you have? Are they both boys? Yeah. My son is the easy one. He's 13. I'll wait till next year. <laughs> When you're working on an ingrown toenail that is healing, less is more. You do not want to disturb the area that is sore. You want to do as little as possible. So just relieve the discomfort that they're having and then wait for the body to heal itself. And you'll see in a few weeks, four weeks, six weeks, how the body is doing and what step to take next. I take this shit. I, am yeah, I can tell you're trying to hold still. I know I used to be when I was a kid either. I would never take a shit anywhere. And then I, after making a little belt, I was just like, I don't know. Maybe it's because people don't like the gold meat. Right. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, you can bend that knee and go back into the water in your near future. You can wear normal shoes. 
You know, this little mini buffer block is the most simple tool and also the most necessary tool, especially when doing a service like this to remove any of the little bits and pieces left around the nail plate that are just too hard to get off with any other piece of equipment. Looks like this one was starting to bug you too. they grow they might change um, it sounds like it's called eggshell nails you can google it and look it up sometimes it's just a simple vitamin deficiency um, and they can they can grow out of it do their fingernails do it too so unique. The foot and leg massage is one of the most looked forward to portions of a pedicure service for clients. So always make sure that you give an excellent foot and leg massage and you'll have a client for life. And if you would like to learn more about how to give an excellent foot and leg massage, I have a foot and leg massage course available at academy.themeticulousmanicurist.com. yesterday my nail polish line announcement it last night yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're use exclusively here? Oh we'll fade out the color of some of the regular polish that we have here now. But yeah. There's so many bottles of discontinued colors that are just old that need to go away. I'll start working on the new colors to add for spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, bend that knee. And I'll take that one. Yes, Tracy, you guys start thinking about it this far out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Body just needs a little bit of time. It'll all be back to normal. Have our holiday party for our staff in January so everybody can get through the holidays without worrying about it. A nice little break from the crazy. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit more cleaning to do on this foot and then we're going to move on to her second pedicure service. Yeah. I cannot believe it. Well, that stuff, everybody says it makes their nails grow faster just because it's nourishing the matrix where the nail is produced. Okay.
too much. probably take about six weeks for the, all of the redness and the puffiness to go completely away because the body needs time to absorb it but it will the before and after pictures are coming right up I'm going to show you again the photo that I took one week prior to this appointment and then the after photo of when we are finished with this pedicure. Well, that's turning white, so that makes me happy that we will be able to remove more of that. Today, during our conversation, she let me know that that excess tissue that's growing on the side of her toe has been there since last year when she had her toenail removed from the podiatrist. They probably should have trimmed off a little bit of that so when her toenail grew back, it didn't mm -hmm. keep running into it. It doesn't look as yellow anymore. No, it doesn't. It's been six weeks in between this pedicure and the last one, and I don't think if it had gone four weeks, it would have been any different. When I trim this nail, that toenail is pressing into her skin so hard that, and the inflammation isn't terrible either, so you can't really tell, but when I trim the nail, it pushes into the skin a little bit more and it actually um, releases the fluid that it's pressing down into the skin. Okay. Good. And a little bit of blood comes up. I didn't act I didn't cut her skin. She says that she didn't feel me cut her skin and it's not attached right there. But the pressure of the nipper pushed into the skin and you can actually see nippers um, in it body fluid going down into the nail groove too did I nick your skin did i did you feel me cut you we talk about it during the rest of the pedicure but she does end up going to see a podiatrist to have that extra skin removed on the side of the nail. It's just covering up too much of her toenail. That's what I was worried about. When I squeeze the nippers, it puts pressure on the nail and then it... Um... It's way too tender to the touch and even the slightest me touching the tip of her toe, it, it, it just hurts her too bad. When I pull open that nail groove, you can even see that body fluid has gone down into the nail groove. So the body has released some fluid and I know that even though she doesn't want to go to the podiatrist, she's going to have to because there's just only so much that a nail technician can do and that you do need help. <laughs> Sorry. We have to lift that nail out of that corner. Out of that corner. I'm gonna wait for that cuticle remover to do a little bit of work. The rest of the nail just doesn't look super grown. I feel like it would grow out nice if they would help me maintain that skin and let the nail break through it. I think so too. As much as she wants me to get this out, not only is it hard on her, but it's hard on me because nobody wants to, you know, cause injury to the client and be prepared she is going to jump here in a second and that might scare you you're right <laughs> I think that it's embedded in your skin I believe that skin would be considered a stage three or four in grown toenail. And we talk about it and she decides that she's gonna go have that cut away. 
I'll post the follow-up video after she saw the podiatrist in just a couple of weeks. What do you want me to do? I don't want to hurt you. Because your nail plate, you know, it goes all the way over to here. You can see your nail wall. So this skin is over top of the nail. So when I trim this, I need to trim over more to get that length off. I know, don't you just want to like grab at it? I know that's how I feel with it too, but gosh, it hurts too bad to touch it. Yeah, I mean, even when I buffed it with that buffer block, it hurt you, didn't it? We'll take a look at those before and after photos again. And I have filmed and edited the third visit with me, and I'll post that in just a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.